Hello yeah. guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by my brother. Yeah, my name is Abdul Jabbar Ramadan Ali. Abdul Jabbar Ali. So that's my name and that's my name that I do use on my YouTube channel. So today I'm with Ali Kipapuro here. Uh, we are going to be exploring Kuala, so Kuala town. So far there's so much so for you guys to see. So let me just leave the guy to, to show you guys around as we just stroll along this town. Yeah. So before we give you more content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also go to the channel of my brother AJ. Yeah, Abdul Jabbar, Abdul Jabbar Ali. Also, also the link will be in the description so that you can check out my, my channel. So yeah, let's get going. Yeah, this will be an amazing content, my guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we are going to be exploring. Yeah, so first of all, we are starting with the Kuala Baraza Park, a place where people come to relax here in Kuala Town. Yeah, so guys, here we are. Now this is the place where most of the functions, national or county events are held yeah. at Kuala Baraza Park. And as you can see, we are approaching the place where most of the events are done. And we'll be showing you. So do you, do you mean public holidays are usually done at this place? Yeah, most of the county or sub-county. Uh, maybe, let me say, for example, Labor Day, do people come here? Yeah, a lot of people come here and that is the place where the events are being held. Yeah. We can say that is the main desk. So maybe if we go around and see the place, Yeah. because we, we are a bit far now, but we can show you the place quite closer so that you can see what i mean here so we are going to show you around here so okay the first thing uh as you can see this one here this uh this is where maybe the cars uh let me say motorcycle do park around here and uh as you can see the whole place is just really really big and uh, there are people sitting there are some chairs there are some concrete chairs that yeah. are there and maybe to add on is that when maybe there are the functions yeah this is the place where the vip people come and sit the desk wow wow now, i never knew that i never knew that so this yeah. vip area right yeah this is the vip area maybe if the governor comes for some meetings yeah and the audience sits on the other side where this place is has been made in cabros yeah so this is the place where the audience sits and yeah under the trees as you can see there are the sitting areas where people sit the benches yeah, yeah so yeah. we'll be going around and showing the people uh, some of the places where the people come here for recreation where they sit the place is quite relaxed yeah yeah when you yeah. come here everything is quiet yeah no noise and you can, as you can hear from far yeah, the natural sounds of the bar. Yeah, damn, I, I do love this kind of sounds. But uh, anyway, guys, there's also a cafeteria around here. Uh, if you come <clears throat> you come to this park, maybe you visited Kuala and maybe you're wondering where you can get your meal. There's a, actually, there's a cafeteria, Amando Catering. So you can get some meal there while you relax around here. So guys, this is just the beginning, but uh, we, are, we are also going to be showing you guys uh, the town of Kuala. So that you can see if you maybe you want to find something if maybe there's you want to withdraw your money there's some banks there's so many activities that usually goes around this place so right now so let, let's just keep heading this way there's something we want to show you guys uh so that uh you'll have an idea uh, when the park was maybe established you know something like that uh, maybe to some of you this is might be really really important but yeah let's just play with the vibe now AJ now maybe <coughs> let's to inform the uh, subscribers now maybe our our subscribers yeah this yeah. park was upgraded during the period of the first governor his excellency Salim Buria uh -huh. uh, his first term the park was upgraded yeah and there is a place where it was officially opened yeah and we are going to show that place and we are nearing the place so maybe you can find the camera yeah yeah so that the viewer can see so guys i came here i was supposed to do a video here but i never did because i'm such a lazy so guys this is what uh we wanted to show you guys here so this is uh as you the can Kuala see Baraza park was uh, officially opened, opened by his excellency salim Voria 
yeah. governor of Kwale County on 18th, 18th. April 2016. Yeah, so this is towards the end of his first term in office. Yeah. This is when the park was officially opened. So right now we are heading, there's another side. There are actually two sides of the park and we are actually on the other side. I mean, if you stay on this side, uh, on the right side. Yeah. So we are going to the other side where there are some kids can play. We also have something uh, structural, structural that they just I erected uh, recently when I came to Kuala, but Ali has been here, so actually he knows when that uh, structure was erected there. Now, maybe to comment on that other side thing. Yeah. That is the other side of the Baraza Park. Wow. So this side and the other side. You cross the road. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Main road which brings you to Kuala town. Then that's as we can see, it's called the Kwale Hall. There's a motorbike coming, let's Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So place where we are heading now to is the Kwale Recreation Park. It is currently under construction. Yeah. It is being done by the Kwale municipality and uh, the county government still of Kwale. Now this is the new thing in town which people have never shown you on camera yeah yeah it's actually the recreation park yeah Kwale municipality as you can see here things are very very beautiful yeah so let's let's let, let's just come closer to this side so guys there's actually uh i don't know the name there's a CISO here and there's a there's a slide here and there's also installation of this uh concrete chairs and where kids can come and play around here so this is really they are making the park actually children friendly uh, well by you can come with your kids around here yeah like this one here you can come with your kids and, and have yeah, fun around, around here, here. Let's, let's yeah have a feel of it. Uh, it was meant for the kids so uh, do you want to try it <laughs> no we, can, we are not kids but we can just sit and have a try no uh, okay uh, Okay, maybe you should try it. Okay. We should try it. So let, let, let Ali sit on the other side. And um, the other Ali, Abdul Jabbar, me, yes. I'm going to be here. So, guys. Yes. This is how the place will be looking. But we are not kids. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is the CISO, guys. This is what we are talking about. Now. Okay, we can so. Go and uh, show you the other place. Yeah, damn, I really miss doing this. Anyway, so, guys, there's actually the structure that was erected here so if you are maybe you have been out of Kuala for some years you actually haven't seen this yet so we are about to show you so let's keep rolling so this project is still under construction yeah it has not been officially opened but things maybe we expect it to be opened very soon now before showing you anything let's see the real picture of the Kuala Recreation Park Wow, so this is the recreation park. Yes. So guys, this is what we wanted to show you guys here. Now, maybe I can show something. Yeah, okay, you, yeah, okay, okay. <coughs> Just go right there. Now, this is what I was talking about. The Kuala Municipality. Yeah. The one undertaking this project. As you can see, this is the central part of the project. It is like a design or uh, maybe let me say something that will make Kuala unique if you go to other cities maybe like Mombasa yeah or towns like Nairobi you they usually have some uh, structures yes, that's actually I iconic structures let's say the Mapembeni area in Mombasa monument and if you come here you see this structure now you are in you, Kuala yeah town. you know that you're in Kuala yes. yeah damn that makes sense because I was, I was actually wondering yes. what, what, what is the use of this old structure uh, behind <laughs> me. But right now that uh, Ali, as I just explained, actually this, have an idea. I did is, know about maybe that. let me call it a landmark. Or maybe I can say that this is the monument or a sort of that thing. Yeah. If you come here, you see this thing, yeah. then you will feel that you are in Kuala already. Yeah. Yeah, and it's in the Kuala Recreation Park. So, so maybe we can move around. Yeah. And show the other part, which is not yet complete, but still, uh, it's undergoing. Yeah. So guys, 
uh, as Ali said, uh, this uh, this park is still uh, not yet officially open. That's the case because it's still not yet uh, been the construction is still going on. But to be honest, this place is really really amazing, and I usually do come here uh, just to chill out, sit down here, relax, and try to you know take my thoughts of the weird things that are going on in life currently and to maybe if you are lucky at times yeah you come here at the park you sit yeah you might encounter some wild animals wow yes they are the so you, have you ever seen wild animals yeah, around? very many you can see the baboons here yeah yeah down. actually i have been i've been seeing baboons along the along that road there uh, yeah maybe also at times Monkeys, there Monkeys are so many. And over the trees here, uh, you can just show them now how this place looks. Yeah, guys, the canopy yeah, the yeah canopy. is really, really amazing. Yeah. So at times you can observe Colobus monkeys. Oh, wow. Well, town is a town, but somehow adjacent to the Shimba Hills National Park. Yeah, yeah. A town adjacent to the Shimba Hills National Park, so baboons sometimes come out. Yeah. And interact with people around the town wow, here. that's really crazy but then, anyway guys uh, there's something i want to share with you yes it's actually free it's actually free yeah. so don't let anyone tell you that if you go to baraza park in kuala you'll have to pay no it's free so you can come with your kids you come with your girlfriend your boyfriend and chill around here yeah. it's totally free you yeah. don't have to pay a dime for that yeah, it's among the amenities being done by the Kuala county government yeah and the Kuala municipality so this is a free amenity yeah. where you can come and relax or you can chill okay. with your friend or partner okay this place is totally free my friend yeah it's free so let's keep exploring <laughs> yeah. so now what i can tell you is that Kuala is really really beautiful and uh, i've been here for some few days and uh, i mean months i mean and it's really been amazing really been amazing and uh, don't forget to check out my youtube channel the link will be in the description uh, of uh, of this video so that you can check out the kind of content that i usually make and uh, you'll have an idea what i'm talking about man ali what i can say abdul jabbar yes uh, it's the first time we are using the gopro camera it's a gopro 11. yeah but, wow the stabilization is so it's quite cool yeah damn this it's thing amazing. this is a beast guys yeah. this is a beast and i'm super excited now maybe we can show the yeah the way we are walking now okay. we are from the Kuala Recreation Park at the Kuala Baraza Park. Yeah. We are heading to the town. We are heading to the town, guys. Yeah. This is this is the most interesting part and uh, you actually don't want to miss a thing around here. So guys, uh, that's where we are heading right now. And as you can see, there's some cab roads around here. So yeah. they really did a good job around here. Yeah, the infrastructure is quite good. It's organized. Yeah, and we have some street lights here even. Yeah, street lights. Wow, this is this. Yeah. Where you can walk the pedestrian lane. Okay, so guys. Uh, okay, you can see there is a vehicle coming, so let's just use the other side. Okay. Yeah. So guys, let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you something. When you come around Kuala, around this area actually that we have been filming around here, you just feel just feel comfortable. Just be you, be you because it, this area is actually really safe because we have so many government buildings that are around, are around this area which means this place is well protected so if you come around here just feel free to film around and walk around and just enjoy the vibe you know yeah now we are currently entering Kuala Town yeah guys Town. this is the junction right here yes. wow man so, on our left side, there is the Kuala Methodist Academy. Okay, so say, Ali, you have been here around 12. What the Methodist church? It's a, it's a church. At yeah. the same time, it's a school, right? Now, this is a school uh, under the church, the Methodist church. Oh, so, man. It's a school called the Kuala Methodist Academy. Yeah. So it's a good, it's a performing school. Wow. It has it has been doing well in national examinations. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a primary school. Okay. Let me let me just show them. Yes. So guys, this actually around here. Yeah. This is so the we have been coming from that side, and this is the Kuala Methodist Church. Oh no. Yeah. Kuala Methodist Academy. So should we should we go this side or yeah. this side? Which, which side should we start? Let's, should we start? Let's let's use this side. 
Okay, so let's now let's cross the road. Yeah, as you can see from the van, there are many bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. So guys, this is the junction. You really have to be careful around here. Yeah. As you can see, there's so many, many things going on around here. And uh, yeah. And we are heading to the road which is yeah. Woo! Man, as I was telling you guys, you really do have to be careful around here. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, so guys. I've been telling you, you really have to be careful around here. You really have to be careful. So... Now that was the garbage collector. Yeah, it's a, from the country government. Yeah, it's a, it's a garbage collector truck, yeah? Yeah, so they are making sure that the town is clean yeah. as possible. So here... Yeah, guys, and we have a really big mosque. What's the name of this mosque, this Ali? Is the Kuala Jamia Mosque. Kuala Jamia Mosque. Yes. So, guys, check out this mosque. And we have some palm trees around here, just in front of the mosque, which is really, really incredible. As you know, guys, I really, I really love palm trees. Salam alaikum. I'm a huge fan of that. Anyway. Uh, maybe you can find here. We have the banks. Here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me let me tell you something. They usually don't find this really appropriate to film in front of the bank. Yes. Yeah, that's why I'm, uh, I've been avoiding it. <laughs> but we can just uh, just do like this, you know. Yes. Yeah, because I, I did that in Mombasa, yeah. and I almost find myself in a very bad situation. But in Kale here things are different. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. They are not uh, quite comfortable filming. Yeah. But we are just doing showing the vlog around the town, so okay. we have nobody intention. Maybe this road, if you can show the road, yeah, that is the road that goes to Kuala High School. Yeah, yeah, this actually goes to Kuala High School. Yeah. So I was there some few days ago. Yes. I just went strolling, and uh, that area is really amazing. Uh, beyond beyond Kuala High, there's uh, like a valley somewhere there. It's really, really beautiful. So guys, this co economy activ activity is happening around here. Um, welding and fabrication. So, and we have Yahoo here, guys. Yes. What's Yahoo Microfinance? This is a small bank. Okay. Yeah, it started like a village bank. Oh, guys. It has back, but now it has grown. Yeah, guys, so this is, this is the real content, guys. Raw content from Kuala. So this is actually Kuala Town, and I'm super excited. Super happy to be here, guys. It's, a, it's really an honor to be around there with Ali, exploring around, because this is it, guys. As you can see, the businesses are going. Yeah. And as usual. Yeah, yeah. People walking. Wow, man. Everything is fine. Actually, what I can tell you is that the town. Okay, you have been you have been staying around Kuala for how long? Uh, over five years now. Over five years you have been in Kuala. So, uh, from your perspective, yes. I mean, a person who have been staying around here, you actually know. Is this is this town really developing or is it just stagnant? Now, from the onset of devolution, maybe when the county government started, yep. I can say now Kuala Town is rapidly expanding. Yeah. It's not as it used to be before. Yeah. yeah. Currently, many businesses are going around here. Yeah, yep. And, uh, the infrastructure has also changed. Oh. Yeah. As you can see, oh. people are doing their businesses. So guys, uh, this is actually kind of a garage, so something like that. Okay, let's let's go this side first, then we can head this side uh, because we can see more cinematic side of things around here. The real, I mean, uh, usually in most cases, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I I noticed it. So guys, let me tell you something. Uh, if you travel anywhere, maybe if you travel to a new place, if you want to see the real side of things. And I get to know, uh, get to know how everything is going on around that place. It's usually best, you know. You visit the market. Now you visit is, the market. Yeah. This, this is the Kuala Center. This is a Kuala Center. Yes, the town is not that big. Yeah. yeah this is the center of Kuala Town. Okay. The shops, as you can see, most people say Kuala is an underdeveloped town. Yeah. But it's now developing. This is the center. Yeah, because to be honest, in my vlogs, uh, in my videos that I did, I just, uh, I kept on saying that Kuala is actually, is kind of stagnant. 
yeah the developments are happening really really slow yeah but that's on that's my opinion guys that's my opinion so anyway guys okay let's uh, just explore the streets around here and one thing i've noticed is that in Kole town yeah there are many border border stages around you can see a group of border borders at the center yeah then you move some meters you will see another stage where border borders wait for their customers yeah so there is no that organized maybe you can say point where all the borders are yeah yeah, there yeah. Are several stages okay so so guys actually we we are heading this is the market side of things you can just buy uh, charcoal around here you can buy fuel you can buy you can buy so many things around here as you can see there's some kiosks in Sahil we call them vibanda yeah in Sahil we call them vibanda so there's charcoal here yeah there's also kerosene yeah i actually i usually come around this area to to buy kerosene because that's what i've been using around here so anyway guys this the the real streets you know the real yeah wow so people are doing businesses in those stores oh wow so this uh these are actually built by the government right Wow. Yeah. Enterprise So guys, are you here in that? You are getting first hand information now, yeah, yeah. from Mr. Ali. Anyway, so let's just keep exploring around uh, and see the economy activities, economic activities happening around this place. But uh really super excited to be around here. Okay, so uh, this time of there, uh do we have lots of maize coming from the farms? around Kuala or maybe the maize is coming from outside maybe we can talk something about agriculture this time round okay assalamu alaikum ah alikuwa nataka kukuuliza swali mama ah mind it huo mwanunua mwanunua inji ama huwa yanatoka hapa hapa Kuala hapa hapa Kuala okay asante so kama mind in the moja wampisa ngapi 20 Okay, yeah, so to promote mama hapa nipate machungwa kadha machungwa mama ni pesa ngapi? Kumi kumi ya machungwa shilingi 1 moja moja kwanza alafu nitachukua kadha. So guys, so the, actually the maize is coming from within Kwale and the oranges around here, yeah. So oranges 10 shillings, yeah, which you can get. So it's a good thing to hear that uh, the maize do come from Kwale, which is really 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 good because uh, we actually need to to promote our in our own you know our own farmers around here right yeah yeah okay so guys yeah. thank you so this is a treat for for me yeah very sweet yeah 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 from mr ali around here Oh, they're so 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 so. Just mm -hmm. Okay, so the the guys actually, they are really really sweet, really sweet. I mean, really really sweet. Mmm. Damn. Wow. Give me a mama. Okay. So Ali is buying for uh, one. One. Uh, how many? How many oranges are you buying? Uh, Hundred shillings. Four oh, hundred shillings. No, those are five. Five or ten? No, ten. Ten oranges, damn. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll be your guest today. <laughs> mm, wow, thank you. So guys, actually the, the orange here we're eating, uh, we have been kind of awarded. Oh. So this woman who is really really kind. Uh, in Mombasa you, you can't see this happening, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be honest, to be honest. So we have to go this side. No. No? We can show the bus park first. Oh yeah, yeah, I even I even forgot about that. Okay, let's guys let's show you the bus park. So the woman was really kind to give us one orange for free. And I think it's because Ali bought 
10 of them. I've even forgotten <laughs> to vlog now. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So guys, actually, so we are in the this is the stage. This is the stage actually. Mm. This is the stage where lots of businesses do happen around here. Uh, you can see vehicles. Most of these vehicles usually come from, you know, uh, they do come from Likoni. Uh, Mombasa, yeah. They come from Mombasa. Uh, Mombasa. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, we are not going. So they come from Mombasa to Kwale. Some, something like that. And, uh, well, this is the Kwale main stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vehicles from Mombasa. Come yeah. Here. Yeah. Coming from Mombasa to Kinango. Yeah. Also, the roads coming from Mombasa to Kirube. Yeah. And Pongani area. So this is a busy stage as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Matato is coming and all right. So guys, so this is this is it. Okay. Most of these vehicles, like this one here, I think, I think it's from Mombasa. Yeah. It's going to Kinango right now. Yeah. So guys, there's a lot of shops around this area. So wow, so guys, check it out. This is it. There's some lots of shops around here. Yeah? Um, mm, wow. I can't get I can't get enough of this orange. It's really really sweet. So so we are, yeah, let's just use this one. So guys, we just came back to the same street because we forgot to show you uh, the stage which is really really important if you want to come around Kuala. So these are the streets guys. These are the streets. Mm. So, we are still at the market area. Yeah. Inside here, there are many stores where people have their businesses. Yeah. And, uh, some of the businesses which are going on here is food industry, hotels. Yeah. Or maybe I can say the. I can call them cafeterias. Cafeterias. Shops. Yeah, shops. And also some boutiques inside here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so let's keep. Let's keep going, guys. So this uh, we are uh, just inside. It's still inside the marketplace. Yeah, the market area in Kuala. Yeah, the market area in Kuala. Mm. So this is it. This is it. So you can buy some clothes around here, and uh, just you know, walk around here and uh, see that. So uh, where are we heading? We can just inside one of the boutiques. Uh, you you want to go inside? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Yambo. I live with Pirada. Nima. Okay, so guys, if you do come around Kuala here, Nima Collection is a place you can get some deras around here, some mitandio, Swahili. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this is actually happening along these streets, guys, here. Oh, so we should go head back this side. Okay. So guys, this is actually raw content around here. Wow. Wow. So guys, there's so many shops around here. You you can actually get anything. But to be honest, let me just be honest about one thing. Yes. The prices, Ali. To be honest, the prices. This route. Okay, so guys, I'm talking about the prices around this place. Yes. The prices are super high compared to Mombasa. So if maybe something you uh, you want maybe to buy something, let me say 500 shillings, uh, you can't actually get it with uh, the same price here in Kuala. Uh, I guess it's because of I, I guess it's because of transportation. I guess. Yes. Um, I can take you to this place here. Where? One of the classic barber shops here in Kuala. Uh huh. Yes. It's around here. Ah, uh, there's a classic barber shop around there. Salam yes. alaikum. Oh, there's a classic barber shop. Wow. Classico. Okay. Classico. So guys, oh, this is where you can just get your hair cut around, around here. So it's along this place. Oh. What's up? You are a classico, bro. Ah, happened only classico. Salam alaikum. Wow, ah, so I should come around classic Oh, so it's a bit new, yeah. So guys, I should come around here because actually I really do look shaggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 
hapa nitapitia bro mimi natakunyolea itabidi niwapitie baadaye baadaye inshallah eh tu promote bana hapo vipi sisi kwa sisi bana ah na okay now that is called wow classical. this is classical so i need a haircut guys as you can see yes. yeah i think i'll be coming around there yeah. so now, now AJ, we are heading to the old bus park or bus station oh so where the van is entering the yellow van yeah second bar, yeah. that is the old quality stage wow yeah around Kuala also we have several petrol stations yeah filling stations that is like one this one the, here yeah, that is one of the filling stations it's an old one no, it's not that old it's maybe, not that old but it's just small okay yeah, yeah. yes so and here also we have the areas where hawkers put their clothes and also we have several uh, grocer dependants here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, can you can buy groceries around this place so guys i've been here around the market for a while i just become i just uh, do usually come here walk around and find something to buy if maybe i want to buy some omena you know so i want to buy some no, tomatoes yeah This is the what's going to be doing. This is the old ah. This is the old stage. Yeah. And here you do uh on the other stage we have the market base here in quality. And uh, it's not uh, actually you might think that uh it's not it's always like this, but this place usually gets super packed during Wednesday. Also at evening the businesses are yeah at evening because most people they're around so they come here for shopping okay such, such things here okay there are several shops inside here okay so wow this actually these are this is quality 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 town quality town so should we should we head uh, this side or this side okay so guys wow so the sun is scorching. So this uh where does this road uh, lead to? This road takes you to there is an uh, branching on this? our right which takes you to Kwale High. Oh and you go to the left here at the junction here. Yeah as you can see you can get the road, you go to Kwale Cultural Center yeah. and later to Ziwani area. Oh. Or quality girls high school. Oh! This area is quite vast. There are many activities here. But currently, as you can see, the town is not that busy. Yeah. But the town is still growing. Yeah, also yeah. Growing. Wow. But there are also places where those people, uh, maybe people have invested. Yeah. You can see quality town to be a small town, but there are some flats. Out. Yeah, like this one here. Yeah, those are the flats where the kind of rich people hide here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see that. Because it's actually rare to see some kind, this kinds of building. Yeah, like around around Kuala, it's, it's really rare. There are but lots of such buildings, but they are not around the town. Uh, they are not around the town. Yeah. So I guess uh, around Ukunda. No, here where? in Kuala town. Here in Kuala town. But and the outskirts of Kwale. So which which side which side are you talking Maybe about? This side here, as you can see. Yeah. It's not at the center of the town. Yeah. We have the flats, this one, the other one here. Wow. And also when you're going to the size of Maria Immaculata. Yeah. There are also there's also a flat there. Yeah. And yeah. when you are joining to the county offices, yeah. you can see such luxurious houses in Kwale. Mm. Also there is another area on the western side yeah where you can go and have the view wow. of the cliff area we can say it's scenic the cliff the area scenery. actually actually yes. i don't know where that place is i think i'll have to yeah to, to talk to you if i need to get there so guys check this building out it just look like the uh like it's Somewhere in Yali. In Yali, yeah, I wanted to say that. Yeah, wow, in just look at this. Man, this is this sick. Is like, this is quite a town. Wow, oh, <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. And so, we so, have the CDF offices. So, yeah, again. Now they are calling the national government 
CDF. So guys, okay, you see the building around here. This building actually, uh, uh, it's department, uh, it's department of public works, uh, mechanical engineering, automotive. Most of the vehicles, I saw them being brought around here, uh, around this building. I once came here because of the attachment, and I got to know about this place. So it's still property of Kuala County. As you can say, it's really, really amazing, and it's coming up. Yeah, so guys, this, these are the real streets of, of Kuala, so Kuala Town, and this is how it is. You know, there's nothing much to see, but uh, it's, a, it's a thriving town, and I can say, maybe some few years to come, things are going to be different around here, and uh, that's... That is what uh, I know. Maybe talking about Kuala Town, <laughs> I can say that Kuala is a cool town. It's not noisy as other towns. Yeah, I know. I actually noticed that it's very different from Mombasa. It's really calm. I mean, uh, for the people who are, I can say they like vibes. Yeah. Kuala Town is not that active. Yeah. There's no activities really go on here past 8 p.m. Wow. There so past. Uh, entertainment areas here, no clubs at all. No, no club. Yes. So, guys, if you are so into if, clubbing, don't come to Kuala. Yeah, so, if you like, you are not going partying, to enjoy that. <laughs> if you like partying, maybe it's seasonal here. We can say it's seasonal yeah. in Kuala Town because there is one place called the Kimerameta. Yeah, yeah. Kimerameta. Where is it located? I've actually been hearing it's, people talking it's about around that Golini place. Area. Yeah, it's, very good. it's quite good. It's a good investment. Yeah, people all their ceremonies there yeah you can also go there for if maybe you have an outing with your friend you can go there accommodation is available yeah there is a swimming pool inside there and all such things uh, uh, luxurious things at Kimirometer oh. so actually I have lots to see around here yeah. at the cliff Kimirometer and uh, where and there is the other side of the Godoni area. Godoni? Yeah, Godoni. Oh. There is also a cliff there. You can actually see a beautiful sunset from there. Wow, I need to go there. I, you know, yeah. I really like sunsets. We call it sundowner. Wow. So, if you go to the... So, okay, let me side. ask you, from from go, from go here to to where you are saying, I mean, go? Godoni. 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 So, how much is it? How much is it? I mean, uh, from Kuala Town. No, you can use a border border because there are no matatos going there. Oh. It's not that far, but you might pay around 100 shillings for wow. here. The youth yeah. go there to relax. Oh. You just go there, sit uh, over the cliff and watch the scenery around the Maluganje. Yeah. Maluganje Elephant Sanctuary. Yeah. Where they have a feel of the nature. Yeah. And also see elephants. If you're lucky, you can see elephants there at the Godoni area. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So guys, this is it, guys. We have been just walking around here. Yeah. So I think this should be the best place to end the video, guys. And I'm um, really, really glad that it happened. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the rest of Kuala Town and, uh, you know, learned two or three things from this video. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so let me just leave it to Ali to end the vlog. <laughs> Uh, let me tell you that we are going to bring you more content, much content, yeah, yeah. exciting content. And for those who are newcomers to this channel, I just ask you to subscribe to my channel. Also, yeah, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel too. The link will be in the description. My name is Abdul Jabbar Ali. Oh. Hey, Jay, that's the nickname. Yeah, this is the border border passing by. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>